Hello friends, my name is Jitendra Bhapna. Today we are going to see how you can use MuleSoft as a OAuth provider. There are various third party OAuth provider which supported by MuleSoft like Okta, OpenAM, there is AWS Cognito, Windows Azure is there. So there are various like OAuth third party OAuth provider supported by MuleSoft. But in case like somebody want to use MuleSoft as a OAuth provider, it is possible. So we are going to see this in this video how it is possible okay so let me do one thing so first we will create one small application uh, i will say file mule new project i will say mule oauth provider simply say finish so before like uh, uh, you start with uh, writing your flow you need to go to exchange and download you know uh, some of the oauth provider modules so go to what uh, exchange say o what simply o what provider module i also want to we will also require the object store for storing the token and the clients and i will simply say finish Okay, now I will go to global elements. In global element, I will create two object store. One is for storing the client and one is for storing the tokens. So it should be the persistent object store. So let me do object store, search for object store. So I will create two object store. One is for storing the client. So I will say client OS. I will keep as a persistent object store. Now second, I will create a token object store. Token OS. Okay, I will keep this as a persistent. Now I have to config configure OAuth provider. Let me search. This is OAuth 2 provider config. So just go through, uh, these are the very important settings. The first thing you have to do the listener config. So that is simple HTTP listener. I will keep all as it is. Okay. Let's wait. So HTTP listener config has been done. Now we have to provide the client store. That is the client object store which we have created. And like what are the supported grant type? We will going to use client credential. There are various grant types, authorization code. There is a client credential, there is an implicit code. So we will use client credential. So client credential is a simpler OAuth uh, grant type. So where basically uh, you pass the client ID and client secret, you get a token back and you can pass that token into authorization header to get your request authorized. Client credentials okay you don't have to pass any scopes you can pass if you want now you want a token url so basically my token url will be slash slash token and you have to give the token object store so basically it will store all the tokens or persist all the tokens here which is generated so token ttl will be around 86400 seconds you can reduce it as per your requirement okay and let me go through all the settings again so basically what we have done, we have set up the HTTP listener config. We have defined the uh, object store. You can define the scopes you want. I don't want any scopes right now. And token and all those things like uh, this is my token URL. So like you once you create a client, the client ID and client secret. Now you have to generate the token. You pass the client ID and client secret to token URL. Token URL will give the token back to you. And simply say OK. These are the settings we have to do in the global element. Now, now we have to create a uh, uh, now we have to generate the client ID and client secret. So we will generate that flow. We, we will have a HTTP listener. In path I can say create client. Okay. Now there is a module. In OAuth module there is something called create client. Okay, OAuth provide have a create client. So this is very useful in generating client ID and the client secret. And storing into the client object store. So from where you can get a client ID? I can get a client ID from attributes dot header dot client ID. Copy this, 
paste it in client secret paste it in just open this open this change the name to client id to client secret this client name is not that important description you can keep it empty principal you can keep it empty you can define the redirect url into array so i will just say abc.com this is basically used for authorization code not required here no grant type so i will just allow client credentials okay scope i will keep as it is fail if present so these are the settings you need to do for the create client okay there is a one more setting type you change this type to confidential now the other thing set pale load so here i can say client created this is one flow now we want to generate the validate token flow so okay so well how we how where we will going to validate the token so for that we will require one more http listener just drag and drop into your mule palette wait sorry it's a bit slow simply in path you can say validate that's it now mule dropped oauth provider or oauth module also have something called validate token drag and drop okay and by default you will see access token this is by default i can explain this statement so what does this mean so it read from the authorization header and split by space so basically you pass authorization header into main request as it is authorization bearer and then token so it split bearer and token and the one uh, it split bearer and the token and like it uh, so it just uh, basically extract the token uh, from the header okay so this is what like uh, it split bearer and the token and read the array so first array will be the this token fine now you can use the transform message drag and drop say payload and json save all this so now we have a three url one is for create client one is for generating the token so the slash token url has been defined in oauth provider configuration okay and third is for validate token let me run this project i will save it everything let's wait till application gets started okay the application has been deployed successfully and now we will see how we can use that uh, all three urls the first url is a create client let me open a create client configuration in create client client configuration we are reading client id client secret and client name from the header so we pass the client id client secret client name into the header and we will just say send 
so it will create a client created so this client has been created now now client id and the client secret has been created and stored in the client object store now we have to generate the token so for generating the token we have to pass the client id which we have generated in previous previous step client secret and the grant type equals to client credential if i don't pass the grant type it will give an error so let, uh, let me show that so we have to pass the grant type I will say send so it will generate a token for us now we have to validate this token I will copy this and I will validate this token just remove this okay I will just send if you get the, this this is this has been validated this is successful if I manipulate this token it will give the token is invalid okay so these are the three url uh, which is used for you know for using mulesoft as a OAuth provider so basically once you create the to client you don't have to create, call this url this is first time you create the client in client secret like then you have to generate token like after ev every 86400 seconds so you can reduce that so generally we don't keep that uh, this much of time so we generally we keep 60 minutes not more than that sorry 60 minutes yeah so currently it's 86400 seconds so you can set like you can decrease the value and finally you validate the token now i have already one application deploy in my runtime manager there's a no authorization on the top of that application okay so they basically there's a no policy let me show you this is the application test app cloud and i will send it so i get the response back there is no authentication nothing it's simple right now what i will do let's deploy this oauth module or oauth provider into the cloud app so let me do export next i will finish it okay the application has been exported now i will deploy it i will say deploy application i will say mule what app choose file let me where i have i think it's in users dell i need to pick latest one what is the time now this is the file deploy it So let's wait while application is deploying. Let me go to application and let me copy this DNS. And I will change from localhost to let me check the logs. your application has been deployed okay so now we will create it to because like we currently we have created the client id in the client secret on the local see if okay if i okay so we have created on local but we have to create on the cloud up so we will create it again send so client has been created now i will just validate it to i will generate a token a bearer token now i will copy this I will try to validate it it will fail okay just send it so this has been validated now successfully but still we need to apply a policy on the top of this application so what I will do I will go to API manager so I have deployed this API already in the API manager so I need to uh, set up the policy I will go to version 1.0 I will say policy apply new policy then I will say OAuth access token enforcement using MuleSwap provider I will configure the policy I will be requiring the validate URL 
I will copy this. Okay, so I provide access token validation endpoint, skip client ID validation, apply. So it let's wait uh, till policy get applied on that application. It takes some time, not much, like some 15 seconds to 20 seconds. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back to testing. I will say send, but still I'm getting the successful response. Okay, okay. Now error X token was not provided. The policy has been applied now. So now we will generate a token again. Now we don't want to validate the token again. So the token will be automatically validated by this po that policy applied there. sorry let me copy the token where we have generated the token we have the okay so I put bearer and this uh, token which we have generated send the request it is successful okay now I will try to manipulate the token it should fail see okay so let me control Z it again so I will say bearer and I will pass the token it again it should successful okay so this is how you can use MuleSoft as a OAuth provider for your application. I hope you like this video. If you have any question or any doubt, you can uh, comment on this video.